Hello everybody. Well, I've never been here in one of my vlogs. I've just been to see one of my friends, uh, Ian, the guy who went to Australia. He's back. Um, well, he's been back for a while now, but every time I've seen him, it's been at work. So I've not been in the best of moods. And I just wanted to see him when I was sort of more happy and free. Uh, right, I do have a couple of things to talk about. Uh, obviously the 500 subscriber video. Um, thanks for everyone who subscribed. And thank you to everyone who subscribed since. It was funny, it took me uh, probably about... For that last few subscriptions, it took me a couple of days. And now I've jumped an extra, like, 25 or something. No, no, it's not. It's like 30-something now, I think. Which is pretty amazing. Come on, Betty. Uh, yeah, I hope you all got the references in that, obviously, to the old cannon spanking and uh, and daisy stepping, which I have explained, and so a lot of you aren't going to have a bloody clue what I'm talking about. But, you know, you might, if you look through my videos, you might know what daisy stepping is, or if you look on the internet or Open Dictionary. Anyway, I do have a subject today, and that's to do with the internet, and the wonders, obviously, that I use the internet now a lot because I'm a YouTube content creator, if you want to call me that. But when I was younger, because I mean I'm 26, so when I was younger we did have computers in um, junior school. But they were, infant school even, sorry, but they were like the old, old apples. The five and a half inch floppies. <laughs> sorry, that can't help but laugh that one. Yeah, the five and a half inch floppy drives are about four pixels. And things have progressed a lot, a lot since then, and now we have the internet in the, in the way that it is, that it's all singing, all dancing, we can, you know, like just everything that it does. But one of the things it does is to do with Google, which is the fact that now, if you ever have a question, before, when I was younger, up until I was in my, probably, I think early teens maybe when we first got the internet if you had a question and you didn't know the answer to it you couldn't find the answer very quickly you'd have to ask people or um, or read about it or something like that it was it was very difficult to find answers to your questions and nowadays you can find an answer as soon as you want and I wonder, does that make people more intelligent? Because they can just find the answers that they want and then they remember that information and they have all this knowledge that they've remembered. I mean, I know for me it works like that. Because I have a, I have a weird memory that when I remember something, I remember it. It's one of the good things when I'm doing sort of technical work, like cooking. Um, once I've done something once, I can do it again without a problem. And that's, I found that very good, actually, for when you're in a job. Because people don't like explaining things to people again and again, because they think you're an idiot. Yeah, um... Or do people just find the answer, give the answer, and then forget the, the answer? If you know what I mean. So it's actually, it might be dumbing down people. I don't know, is it, is it making people more intelligent? Or is it making people more stupid, because instead of relying on their brain, they're relying on a, on a computer to give them the answer every time. A bit like they used to say, well, you can't use a calculator all the time. This is the backwards thing when they taught maths at school. It was like, you were never allowed to use a calculator. You are only allowed a calculator on one paper. And everyone knows that no one sits there and does stuff normally by, like... God. By, like, um... Their mem from their head. I mean, it's, uh, older generations tend to, but, and I do to a point. But most people phone out, calculate, get 100% guaranteed correct answer if you enter the details correctly. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. But the internet is, of course, without doubt, one of the most important inventions that's ever been made in this world. Only, uh, thanks for trying to not let me get through there. Uh, only second, of course, to the motorbike. Most important invention ever. Second most important. Oh, no, it wouldn't be second, because the second most important, of course, would be the helmet. 
and thirdly the drift. The internet's going to come somewhere down there, but basically... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm not sure. I know the general intelligence of everyone nowadays is getting lower and lower, so... Well, I don't know if that's actually... Is that a, is that a fact? In my experience, it is. Sort of the average IQ nowadays must be dropping. What do you reckon? Because, I mean, like... If you want to know the answer to the question, like, I don't know, has there ever been um, a motorised unicycle? Has there ever been a motorised unicycle? I don't know. Do you know? In fact, right, I'll tell you, I'm going to pull over a minute and I'm going to have a look and see. This is proving my point exactly. I want to know if there's ever been a motorised unicycle. Has there? I'll find out in a minute. Okay, searching motorised unicycle. First motorised unicycle, yep. Yeah. Honda develops motorised unicycle, there you go. I'm really annoyed that Honda did it first, because that's going to make a couple of people very happy. Fuck it. But anyway, they have. So there you go, I now know that there was a, they have made motorised unicycles and Honda was the first person to develop one. Well, well they developed one. I don't think it was actually the first, but I'd have to look into it more. But you know what I mean, that's what I'm saying. Interesting, isn't it? Alright people, catch you next time.